What is up guys? Welcome back to day two of our seven day MCO bootcamp challenge. Uh, today we're going to be keeping the same intensity. So 30 seconds work, 30 seconds rest, but we're going to be doing for, for 20 minutes long. Um, we just follow along and we'll get through this workout in no time. So here we go. We're going to be starting with inch work and squat. So inching out, walking out with the hands and back up. Squat once and repeat. Nothing too difficult. Similar to the same exercise we did yesterday in day one. Walk out, walk back in and squat. All right, rest up. Uh, we've got rear lunges. We're gonna do first the left side and then the right. All you're gonna be doing is lunging to the back, keeping good posture, keeping your back upright and straight and then back. We're gonna start, start off with one leg first and then move on to the other. So 30 seconds, on, let's go. Good core stability. Again, just do it at your own pace. Really firing up those hamstrings, those glutes, those quads. And rest. All right, we're gonna be doing our right leg next. So here we go. So day two, same intensity as day one, which is gonna be doing a slightly longer workout today. So I don't wanna go too fast, too quickly, but we'll slowly build up the intensity as the, as the week goes by. All right, here we go. Rear lunge, right leg. Good posture. Bring your hands to the side or in front, completely up to you. Make sure you've got good balance. And drive those legs up. And that's it. So, moving on, we've got sumo squats. So instead of doing pulses like we did, we're gonna be doing the full range. So legs wide apart, like you're a sumo wrestler. Get all the way down, as low as you can, and back up, and really squeeze those glutes. Bring the hips forward. So if this is the side view, you're gonna go all the way down. Squeeze, all the way down. So here we go, 30 seconds on the clock. Sumo squats, let's go. As low as you can. Really feel that stretch all the way down. And same when you come up. Bring those hips forward, squeezing those glutes. A wide stance, wider than your shoulders. And done, great job, great job. Okay, moving on, shoulder taps. So we're gonna go into a high, plank position, legs about shoulder width apart, keeping your core nice and tight, and we're just gonna tap the shoulders from left to right. And I'm just keeping this pace, keeping this momentum. If you can't do a full high plank, you're welcome to do it on your knees, and do the same motion. Exactly this. Try not to sway from left to right, keeping your hips nice and tight. That's it. Now you can really start to feel the burn. We've got five seconds on the clock. Come on. Oh, good job. Okay, now uh, push up and reaches. So same thing, 
we're going to go into push-ups push-up position if you can't again if you can't do it from on your toes just do it on your knees simple push-up reach reach push-up reach reach push reach reach and as you reach try not to swing left and swing right keeping your hips nice and balanced and just reaching up push reach reach we're almost there stay with me and done oh all right so marching glute bridges just like a normal glute bridge we're going to be marching them so keeping it in this high position and then we're just going to be doing marches just like this keeping your glute tight as always try and keep your hips at the same position and let's go 30 seconds just marching just pay attention to your core pay attention to your hips and drive that leg up as high as you can and done rest 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 okay so slow mountain climbers back to a high plank position and instead of running we're gonna try and drive our knees all the way up to the elbow on both sides so drive them up above the elbows and just keeping that nice pace really working the core working your shoulders just keep the same momentum slow movement maximum quality uh. oh. this is really a full body workout grab a sip of water if you want we're going to be doing lateral lunges coming in next and what that is is it's like a squat except we're going to squat one side so we're going to go left first and then right afterwards so here we go 30 seconds natural lunge to the left as low as you can but keeping good form keep your back upright Only 10 seconds remaining. There we go. Every exercise is going to be different. So just keep up and just try your best to follow along. That's it. Quick rest. And we're going to be lunging, lateral lunging to the other side. So to the right. At least you get good isolated work on each individual leg. And it also gets us sweating, gets more tiring. Whew. Here we go, five seconds left. Stand in one spot, and we're going to lunge to the right. Really working those quads. Your glutes, your hamstrings. It's a full, boat, full body workout really. And rest. All right, so next up we've got up down plank. And we're gonna go 
into a plank position, high plank, and then you're gonna go down into a low plank. Left first and right, vice versa, up, back down, reverse, and up. And whilst in this motion, again, try and keep that core tight. You don't wanna be caving in or too far up. You wanna keep that back nice and leveled, nice and straight, while going up and down, really working those shoulders, those arms, toning those arms, whilst at the same time working those that core of yours. Really good exercise this is. Then done. All right, quick rest. Coming up next, crunches. Knees bent. All right, so we're gonna go back down on the floor. Instead of doing a normal sit up, we're gonna be keeping our legs up in the air, 90 degrees, and crunching towards them. You wanna try and bring your head all the way to your knees. Back down. Here we go. So keep pushing. Try as hard as you can. It's a full body workout. Working your upper, lower, your core. And it's only 20 minutes today. Here you go guys, almost there. Uh, uh, and done. Whew. Okay, next up we've got single leg, single leg glute, bridges and crunch. All right, so back to glute bridges. Except we're gonna be doing single leg. So let's start with the left leg up in the air. We're gonna use our right leg first. Sorry, left leg first. Bridge up, and we're gonna add a crunch. Elbow to knee. Bridge up, crunch, elbow to knee. Crunch, bridge up, single leg, crunch, up, which is combining two different exercises together. Okay, all right, quick rest. Now we're gonna do it the other side. So let's go. This time we're gonna do a glute bridge with our right leg and then crunching with the left. As you do a glute bridge, keep your other leg as straight as you can. And when you come down, crunch. Elbow to knee, here we go. Up, crunch. Up, crunch. This is a little bit tougher, but give it your best. If you can't, just do a normal glute bridge. That's not a problem. But if you can, try to follow along. Oh, and done. That's it. Coming up next, we've got reverse crunches. So we're gonna stay on the floor. Again, back on the ground. Your lower back, try and press it down so belly button to the ground. Keeping your legs up in a 90 degree position. You're gonna go down and squeeze back up. Working that lower part of the abdominal. So here we go, 30 seconds. Like doing a crunch in reverse. That's why it's called the reverse crunch. Working that lower abdominal. Point your toes out, tap the floor and back up. And try and breathe out as you squeeze. Really squeezing those abs. And rest. Quick rest. Another sip of water. Mm. 
before moving to half burpee. And this time I wanna add a jump into that. So a half burpee, no push up. You can go down on the floor. Oh, sorry. Uh, gonna start with a standing position. Down on the floor, out, back in, jump. Out, back in, jump. If you can't do the jump, just do the stack. It's not a problem. Half burpee, come on. 15 seconds left. Add the jump. Let's get more intense here. Get the heart pumping. We've only got a couple of exercises more. Here we go, last rep. And done. Whew. Okay, next up, high knees. Or running on the spot. But preferably, if you can try and bring your knees up as high as you can whilst running. We're only gonna maintain this for 30 seconds. This is really gonna get your heart pumping. We're almost at the end of this workout. So let's go, high knees. Come on guys. You're doing really well. Keep it up. We've only got 15 seconds left on the clock. Keep breathing. Chin up. Chest out. Oh. And done. That's it. Woo. Okay. Moving on. We've got two push-ups and two jump squats. So, again, two push-ups. One, two. Into two jump squats. One, two. All right, so here we go. 30 seconds. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two push ups. Two jump squats. Oh, okay. So nice when you hear the bell ring. Okay, so four jump, four star jumps, and four mountain climbers. So one, two, three, four. Moving on. One, two, three, four. With me. One, two, three, four star jumps, and four mountain climbers. One, two. Three, four. So here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four star jumps. And four mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Come on, let's finish. Finish this off. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. That wasn't too bad. Because now, congratulations guys. We're going into our last exercise of this workout. Bicycle crunches. Back on the floor. It's not about speed. We're just gonna do it at our own pace. So elbows to knees. Just like riding a bicycle and just rotating from left to right. I choose quality over quantity anytime and you should have the same mentality. Squeeze those abs. Come on, maintain it. We've got 10 seconds left and we're done with today's workout. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, Woo. and that's it. Oh, guys, you were great today. You were excellent. 
really good job. 20 minutes, high intensity interval training done today. That's day two, really, really good job. To step up from yesterday and look out for day three. We're gonna be doing something different and we're always switching it up for the next, so three, four, five, six, seven for the next five days. Stay tuned and really good job today. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys.